Hey to everybody. Wow, we got a lot of stuff to handle today on Real with Robo. Okay, first we're going to talk about the Black Skeletor of Chicago. Y'all know I already got permission to say that, so don't even try it with me. Um, Lori Thunderfoot, Lori Darkfoot, Lori Dirtyfoot, Lori Disgusts Me Beyond Contention, Disgust Foot. Ashy foot, rabid bitch, whatever you want to call her. Um, yeah. She gon' let BLM hold a protest in the middle of the night in somebody neighborhood. At their actual neighborhood, y'all. While they sleeping. Come down on they lane and hold a protest where they're all... Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. All y'all motherfuckers wake up. You wake a motherfucker like me up in the middle of the night with you acting dumb, especially if I don't like you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me tell you what happened when somebody banged on our door and got the wrong door. Thought they were funny. They were drunk and they woke me up. Okay. My husband damn near carried me back upstairs because I came downstairs. I opened the door. I said, yes. I'm sorry. It's the wrong door. <laughs> I scared the drunk out of him. I don't play that. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Where now they're coming into our neighborhoods. And, and y'all BLM idiots actually think that you ain't going to be met with rifles. Y'all think you ain't going to be met with motherfucking uh, 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 AR-15s. I almost did a Biden there and went AR-14s. I'm coming for your AR-14. That's one less than 15. I just want a half of one. Oh, my God. But you fucking with people sleep? No. Because you're going to get a rank-ass motherfucker in my, in my complex. You do that shit in my complex. And even though... You know, most of the people that live in my complex, except for now three white pe white families, they all black, and I know them all. Man, go ahead, wake, wake my neighbor that's next door to me to the left. Go on, wake, wake his ass up. Do it, do it. Wake the one right up front. Wake the chick that's right in front of me up. Please wake her up. Old boy up, upstairs across the way. Mm-hmm. Wake the woman up over there with the dogs. Yeah, her husband, too. Mm-hmm. Because I know he's got a shotgun. Uh-huh. And this one over here on the left of us, you know he work like 16 hours a day. He come home, he ain't gonna have that shit. Man, we all sleep in my neighborhood. This ain't no ghetto neighborhood, okay? Because our black neighbors is like white neighbors. We have a standard over here. All right? They my dark-skinned white people. And yes, I call him that, and I don't care if it's racist. Do you, handle your business, say what you're going to say. And then when you're done saying what you're going to say, shut the fuck up and leave me the fuck alone. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? But seriously, they my dark-skinned white neighbors, and we all the same. We don't play that shit around here. We, we too damn old. Okay? We grown up in this piece. Okay, maybe on the other side of the complex, we got all the youngins and whatever. But over here on this side of the complex where we are, I guess our landlady done put all the old folk and all the business folk and all the handy business folk because we all asleep in the middle of the night. Okay. And the only person that's coming home at 2 o'clock in the morning is one of our neighbors that work like 18 hours a day. And okay, he bump his music, that's fine, because he turn it off when he get to the garage because he done caught a, he, he caught a little bit of real with Robo in real life, and he didn't like it very much. Caught a little bit of me coming out the door asking him to turn that shit down one day, too. Yeah, Big Daddy, the Robo Marine, when he hit that parade voice, it ain't, no, it ain't funny, parade ground voice, no, it ain't funny. It ain't funny, because it scared the life out of people. He barked that shit, and man, half the neighborhood jumped like standing at attention and shit. Me, I was just like, why aren't you scared of that voice? Because it's funny to me when he is pissed off.
Because I know he ain't mad at me. And even when he mad at me, it's funny as hell. Why? Because it's just funny. I find shit like that funny. Okay? But me, when I'm mad, mm-mm, mm-mm, I walked outside. I said, do you know there are motherfuckers that are trying to motherfucking sleep up in this bitch? I ain't slept in three days because they've been sick and in pain. And you come up in, and he was like, I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me turn down my music. I'm going to remember that. So now if he come home, if, if he come to the apartment complex, if he come home after 2 o'clock in the morning, he don't play his music at all. If it's before 2 o'clock in the morning, he go on and play it for a little minute and then he turn it off. Yeah, long enough to park his car. Yup. Yup. Because he know, he, he don't want to play with me, and that's what I'm saying about these people. You stupid BLM people, and you little millennials, you little white motherfuckers that are with them. And I say it, and I'll say it again, you little white idiots that are with them. And you walking into these neighborhoods like, oh, look at me, I'm so down with the cause. Look at me, man. I'm so down with the black people, man. You a bunch of dummies. These motherfuckers is putting their life at risk. Imagine, imagine if somebody having a really bad day and they don't know how to control their temper. Okay? Imagine that. Imagine if there's a, a criminal out there that got anger issues. And he just had a really bad day or she just had a really bad ass day. And she got an AR-15. And then you come and disrupt his or her sleep. Or maybe they're insane. And you just, they been fucked with enough. And then you fuck with them some more. And they just go off on you and blow your ass out the water. Like they kill you. Then whose fault is it, dummies? Like, do you think white people are going to start crying? Oh my God, you know, there was a BLM protest in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. And somebody came out and told them to shut the fuck up and then started shooting at them. Oh my God, those poor BLM people. No, we're not going to say that. We're all, all of us, all people, black, white, Hispanic, Oriental, everybody that got a damn mind, got a brain, that's sick and tired of you, that's sick and tired of your crap. We going to say, bet they ain't going to be doing that no more. Bet. But you are making it so complicated to feel bad for anything that happens to you. When the sheriffs damn near rode your ass out underneath they, the hooves of their uh, 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 horses in Colorado City, everybody was cracking up about that. When that one gentleman, I mean, he... He need a Pulitzer Prize for peace. That man need one. And, and I'm, I'm, I am nominating him for it. Okay? Robo is nominating that gentleman from Inglewood, Illinois for a Pulitzer Prize for peace. When he came out and he said, nah, and he, standed, he stood between you and the police and started chasing y'all out of his neighborhood with everybody else, I mean, I didn't agree with his little, you know, because then the uh, police become salty and take it out on us because that's not true. Police may be salty, but they don't take it out on people that don't deserve it. Mostly. I I'm not going to say all police don't do that because I know a couple policemen that are salty as hell, you know. And I know one security guard that used to be salty as hell. Who would that be? You. Anyway, you, you see how I pissed him off? I'd just be like, you, whatever. Even if I didn't mean him, I'm going to answer him. Just to watch him lose his bearings on me going, I didn't even do nothing. I was I innocent. Done nothing. All I did was slap that one person and tell that one cop that that was a great sniper purge. I didn't even do nothing. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't done nothing. Anyway, so on to what Mayor Dirtyfoot did. The Black Skeletor. What she did. She done 
station police all around her neighborhood because she didn't want them motherfuckers coming to her neighborhood and messing up her sleep. Like, excuse me. Okay, excuse me. We already know your mouth lies so much, your hairline trying to recede to get the hell away from it. Okay? That's real talk right there. Don't don't call me a liar until you look at her hairline. It's receding. It is trying to get the fuck away from her lying ass mouth. Now she telling us it's okay for them to come and disturb your peace, your hard working peace, but they can't come and disturb my peace, you know, when all I do is sway with the mob's opinion, because that's hard work to sway with the mob opinion. And be a pathetic, no good for nothing mayor. Yeah you know I mean, that's real. That's real. See, I told y'all, I told y'all that it's going to get worse, and what's going to happen is the politicians ain't going to care till it start affecting them. I'm going to tell you right now, BLM, I'm going to tell you right now, Antifa, you want to go to someone's neighborhood, go to their neighborhoods. Go to their neighborhoods, because they're the ones that make the laws, not us. And we ain't going to vote the way you want us to vote. The simple fact is, because you ever take the fuck out of us. So we going to vote against you. You tell us don't vote for Donald Trump. Hell, many black people might vote for Donald Trump just because you piss them off and give them a bad image. And I'm just being real. I mean, I need a black person to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure I'm being real and I'm being honest and I'm right about it. I'm pretty sure about it. Seeing as that's what a, a whole bunch of black people have been saying on YouTube. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm right about it. They're giving black people a bad image. That black people don't feel that way. Now, on to not feeling some way, Cardi B with her retarded ass. Okay, a lot of people are talking about, oh, Robo, will you do one on her interviewing Biden? No. Why? Because I can't sit through idiocy like that. Can y'all sit through idiocy like that? Have you seen the video? I can stand like, Two minutes of it. And then she looked down with her eyes closed and go, If I go to jail, you know, if I murder somebody, I go to jail. You should go to jail too. It's like, if it was all that, then Obama and Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton and, and, and Clapper and Comey and all them would be in jail too. Stupid. Was that her cell phone ringing or something? Or, or she that was her... Phone? Cell phone no noises with her mouth? No, that was her mouth phone, and she needed to hang it up. That bitch needed to go on and take that shit back to wherever she got it from and get a new mouth phone. Anyway, y'all know who I'm voting for. You know I'm voting for CAG 2020 because I cannot, in my Democratic left-supporting mind and heart, I do support the left. I believe in what they believe in, and I cannot vote. For Kamala. Or Kamala. Wakanda forever. I can't vote for her. And the reason why is because her family owns slaves. I can't do it. It's wrong, people. It is wrong. The left tells us it's wrong. And that we, we should never give power to the people that used to own slaves. I can't do it. Because she, she was, she, uh, she's from Jamaica. She's part Jamaican. And that means... That means, pay attention now, Irish history here coming up, 101. Her family got Irish slaves from England. The Irish slaves were abundant because they were political prisoners. And they were forced to breed with, you have to pardon him, he on the phone. We got our groceries coming in here because of the coronavirus. We don't want to put a mask on and all that. Anyway. They were forced to breed with the black slaves in order to make the light-skinned slaves to go to her grandfather and be owned and sold by him, okay? So for my Irish ancestry, I can't do it. For the black people living here in America still traumatized by slavery, I can't do it, guys. By the righteousness of the left. And the honesty that we should not support slave owners. I can't vote for Kamala because her family was slave owners. I can't do it, guys. Biden, 
believed in segregation. And he was buddy, buddy, chummy, chummy with the KKK. And I can't, by all virtue of the left that I support, vote for him either. I'm going to have to vote for Trump and Pence. Because they told me during the DNC convention these past three, four days that I was supposed to go with the light. And Mike Pence is a religious man. So I've got to vote God in. I've got to vote God in, guys. And you do too. Remember what the left said. We need to respect what they say. We need to listen to their view. No slave owners, no racist people in there, none. So you have to vote for Trump, guys and girls and others. And yes, I just assumed your genders and gave you another option because I'm a sadistic enabler and I'm wrong for that. Anyway, so that's what it is, you know. Not only that, I don't agree with their policy of raising taxes. And, you know, Cardi touched on that and said, because people don't, you know, people don't want to pay the extra taxes. Does Cardi B know that Biden was talking about people like her? I wonder if she knows that. Because, uh, see, what the thing is, is um, Cardi, baby. Cardi, listen up. If any of you are friends with Cardi, just let her know. Okay. They're going to tax the rich people. Not them, but people like you. And other rich people. Okay. But first, they're going to put us all, us little guys, you know, not the rich people, in poverty. And then make us rely on the government. Then they're going to come after your money. It's not that we don't want to pay the taxes. It's that we don't support socialism. And I know you care about free college tuition. But let me ask you something, Cardi. I made a bunch of debt in my life. A bunch of debt. Let's just say I did. I actually didn't. But just say I did. And I took out loans for a brand new Benz, a brand new house, a brand new everything. Okay? And then I took the bill to you. Would you pay it? Or would you say, hell no, nah, you accrued this debt. You pay for it. You're driving that car. You living in that house. You pay for it. That's the same way we think, honey. That's like the layman's of the layman's terms. I can't get any more lame than that. But I'm sure you can. Um, as you can tell, I don't like Cardi B. And one of the reasons why is because she's an idiot. And I do believe that if her and Candace Owens ever had a quote-unquote political debate, Candace Owens would smoke her by saying, Hi, my name is Candace Owens the debate would be over because Cardi would be like, that's an unfair, that's racist. <laughs> She's racist. <laughs> She's racist. I'm all down for the black people. By the way, does anybody know when Cardi B is going to move to Nigeria? I know a lot of Cardi B fans out there are going like, why don't you let that rest? Because she said America sucks so bad she wanted to apply for citizenship to Nigeria up until the point where she found out what kind of rights she had in Nigeria, which would be none. Um, the fact is that they would not see her as a black person and give her any kind of credit, you know, any kind of leeway, lightweight, nothing like that. No leg up. And the funny thing, the funniest thing I heard her say in that quote unquote chinterview because it was full of chit, was she says something to the effect, oh my God, 
What was it? Ugh, I hate it when I forget. I have it, like, on my mind, and then just a second later, it just goes away. But, like... Oh, yeah, uh, she was saying something about, you know, how it's unfair that people get a leg up, you know, a uh, little boost in life, you know, and she was insinuating some shit about white privilege. We all know this. I mean, white people aren't stupid, so you might as well just come out there and say it there, Cardi. Oh, wait, that's right. You're talking to a white guy. <laughs> you can't say it to our faces, but you can say it behind our backs. Right. Okay. I got you. No problem. You know, cowards are like that. Just like, America sucks so bad, I want to go and ask for a citizenship to Nigeria up until the point where they aren't going to treat me special. In fact, I'll be a second-class citizen there because I'm not actually from there. <gasps> but the funny thing was is that she was insinuating, you know, white privilege and that people get a leg up and a boost in life. And I was just thinking... I wonder if I could ask Cardi one question. What would it be? Oh, yeah, that's right. The one that no black person has answered me yet. Not even a white person. Nobody from the left. No socialist, Marxist, commie, progressive have, has answered this question. Name one program that is around today that is for whites, solely about whites, ran by whites, not for anybody but whites. Name one program that is like the NAACP, the United Negro College Fund, or La Raza. Any program. Name one. Uh, wait, wait, Robo, wait, wait, I just had, oh my God, wait, my brain blew up. Are you saying, she was saying that she's tired of people getting a leg up when she was insinuating about white people getting a leg up and the fact of the matter is is that they don't oh my god revelation i know a lot of you leftist heads are popping right now huh y'all going but wait then that means that there isn't racism and, and that there isn't inequality. As a matter of fact, they pamper non-white people. And all the stuff that people say about white people is actually racist and not very cool and in equal and unjust. And wait a minute, Robo, this is too much. Yeah, you're right, Democrats. You're damn right, liberals. Our parties stabbed us in the back. Betrayed us. They betrayed us. There's no inequality in America. As a matter of fact, non-white people get bonuses and boosts for being non-white. We have to work our asses off for everything we get. And there's no shame in that. The white privilege that they talk about is what Lori Dirty Foot, Lori Inept Mayor Foot has, what Cardi B has, what Biden has, what those Hollywood elite have. You see anybody going to their communities? And not getting insta reprimanded for causing a fuss, breaking stuff, de defacing stuff. Oh, but let our communities burn, huh? Let them come out in the middle of the night to our communities and tell us motherfuckers to wake up, right? Right? Let the little people suffer, right? Because. That's who needs to know, the little people, not the big people, because we're sorry we're white. Um, if you're so fucking sorry, then why don't you donate all your money to somebody that isn't sorry that they're white? Me! Hi. 
I will take one for the team. Okay? That's real. That's real. You see, what people don't understand these days, guys, this is what it is. The injustice and the two-tier justice system isn't about whites and blacks. It's about rich and poor, like it always has been. Cardi B knows nothing about, if I murder someone, I go to jail. Then you should go to jail, too. Y you want to know why she doesn't know anything about that? Remember the girl that used to play Moesha on Moesha? Oh, y'all know who I'm talking about. She literally got drunk, got behind the wheel of a car, and killed somebody. Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. She got a slap on the wrist. Me and you, we'd be under the jail. Cardi B, she got a slap on the wrist. You remember when she was going to court for all those stupid things? Slap on the wrist. What would happen to us? Rich and poor. And you know what else? I don't, don't even believe what they're telling you. Because black people, white people, Mexican people, Chinese people of our little guy realm, we all believe the same thing. That they full of shit. There's nothing such as white privilege. There's no racism. If the cops beat the hell out of a criminal, the criminal shouldn't go for their gun. We all believe the same thing. The little guys. There is the left. Then there is the Democrats and the liberals. Then there is the middle, nonpartisan, that would be me. I used to be Democrat, I still am in my heart, but not until my party gets right am I going to get right with them, okay? Then there's the conservatives, Republicans, and all them people. Then there's the cuckoo beans on the far right, okay? Far left, far right, they're all cuckoo beans. We don't even need to worry about them, okay? But the simple fact of the matter is people ask, why, after those DNC convention programs, did Trump skyrocket in the polls? I'm going to tell you why right here. I've already told you a million times that there's going to be a blue tsunami in November. It ain't going to be for Biden. It's going to be overwhelming for Trump because the Democrats and the liberals that are moderates, they're going to see that Kamala and Biden are full of shit. And they swing whichever way the wind blows. And they're going to be like, you know what? I can't stand Trump because he's obnoxious and abrasive. But damn, so is Robo. And, you know, I love her videos. So I'm going to have to go with Trump, okay? Vote CAG. Robo 2020. I mean, Trump 2020. Okay? This is real. This is all real. Black people don't feel the same way as BLM and Antifa and all them other people saying. They want cops in their districts. They want good people to stand up and say, hey, you know what? Look, we need a good mayor. I'm a good person. This is what I want to do with the community. Can y'all vote for me? Give them some options. Because like last time on my ballot, all I saw was Democrats and blue people for my city. And I'm like, no, I want to turn my ballot red. Because I'm pissed off at the Democrat Party for backstabbing me and letting those infiltrators and treasonous rat bastards, as BCP said, says, I'm tired of them taking over and backstabbing me and making me look bad and making me have to defend them. Therefore, not only am I going to leave the party and become nonpartisan so I can still slap Republicans around, but I'm also going to leave the party and change my belly to red so I could tell them how it is. And that's what you Democrats and you liberals that listen to me need to do. You need to turn your belly red. 
for all the innocent blood that has been shed during these riots because that is all what the Democrats let do. Nancy Pelosi, I know you hear a lot of shit talked about her, but she said, oh, they gonna do what they gonna do. They gonna do whatever they gonna do. And what's funny about it is uh, uh, Michelle Obama, she get up on the DNC thing, start talking about how they, you know, when they go low, we go high. You mean you are high after the crap she done said. I mean, like, for real, she said, oh, you know what, Obama did this, Obama did that, Obama and the economics, and Obama and everything. You know what Joe Biden's plan is for our economy, guys? Listen, listen to me, Democrats and liberals. Listen to me and tell me if this do not sound like a two-year-old plan, a two-year-old's plan. Listen to me. We are going to solve the job problem by making more jobs. And the economic problem, by building America back better. What, what, what the heck, how are you gonna make, what? Get away from me, two-year-old. And then Kamala found out an interesting fact this morning. Found out an interesting fact for y'all this morning. I got it right here. I stole it from uh, that bald head dude show, okay? I watch him. I don't remember his name, but bald head dude. Um, he a bald headed badass too. I like him. Anyway, K Kamala had the opportunity, had all these documents from the Catholic Church to get all these pedophiles put away back when she was DA. And you know what she did? Because they put money into the, her campaign back then, because they gave money to her campaign, she hired two of them to be the lawyers that represented the Catholic diocese. She hired two of them to be on her advisement council. And she just didn't even bother with the prosecutions. I heard this man tell his story about that. It broke my heart, y'all. It broke my heart. Thinking of this little boy going through that shit. It broke my soul. Because if anybody do that to my son, oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all, oh my God. And I know y'all Democrats and liberals and Republicans and conservatives, when it comes to being parents... We all think the damn same. You touch our children, oh my God. We'll be the last thing you holler. That's real. That's real talk right there. You don't play with nobody, kid. Nobody. And you know, then, you know, I also think about the left and how they trying to tell us how to raise our kids, how they trying to indoctrinate our kids. You know, Democrats and liberals, they indoctrinating your kids too and pushing them way far left to where, you know, y'all tell your baby something and then the teachers say, no, that's wrong. Listen to me. This is how it goes. Socialism is great. And y'all like, no, the fuck it ain't. Why they... Okay, they don't trust you to parent your children either. So we all in the same pot together. This is what I'm telling y'all. And what they going to do after this election. This is why they want mail-in voting folks. After this election, they are going to make excuses upon excuses upon excuses of why the hell the mail ballots ain't in, ain't got counted, they not all in yet, they ain't done yet, we got to count here, count there, you know, let's look at the first count, okay, we need to have like 2,000 more for Biden, so here's 2,000 more, and they just going to pop out the blue and some will get lost and everything like that. Y'all remember the 1980s when the military people... They they complain that they might as well fill out their absentee ballots and just throw them in the garbage because that's where they go anyway. Y'all remember that. 
Democrats and liberals, Republicans and conservatives, y'all remember that. That was real people in real time talking real. Why should we even fill one out? They just gonna all be sent to the garbage can anyway. And that's what they want here, is they want to be like, oh, Biden's behind like 2,000 votes, so let's, uh, here's 2001. We know that they didn't vote like that, but that's okay. We're going to put their name and just change their little circle there. You know how they go. Or they'll, oops, I uh, lost a few, you know, million votes for Trump. Y'all real. Y'all really. Come on now. Come on. I know the liberals and the Democrats, conservatives, and Republicans that listen to me, y'all is not dumb. Y'all not dumb. I do not have dumb friends. I do not have dumb friends. I do not. Okay? And a lot of people be like, well, you know, some people that subscribe or view my videos, they stupid. No, because stupid people that view my videos, they get thrown. Okay? It's like if I don't run them out, one of my friends, one of my viewers, one of my loyal subscribers, one of my darlings, they'll get on their head like a spider monkey. I ain't playing. So I know y'all not dumb. Think about it. They want us to send in our mail. And we already know that everyday mail is crappy through USPS. So we ain't falling for what they saying. It's like, go. Because you know that when you get that Christmas present and you see a hole in the side of that Christmas box with all the Christmas presents in it, somebody went in there and filled around and tried to take your damn candy. Tell me a lie. Tell me a lie that you don't find your mail flip-flopping through the street because, oops, they accidentally dropped it. Tell me I'm a lie. And people in Memphis, you already know, sometimes you don't get your mail. Not at all. It's like mama done sent you a check for two, three hundred dollars. That check, boop, up and disappear where they went. Where they went. Right? Right. Or a friend send you some gift cards and they all gone. They gone. Like where it went. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, so I I have a bad uh, bad voice today because I got a little swollen patch on my throat that I need to go get checked out by the doctor. It's been there for a while since I started taking this new medication. It's been puffing up real bad. But yeah, I got nothing to say about Cardi B except for you know, tell me when you go to Nigeria, girl. I will send you a shirt where you could put, cover yourself up so. People don't try and sell you on the slave market that's actually still alive in Africa. And y'all know what I say is true. My liberals, my Democrats on here, y'all know what I say is true. Go Google it. They have slave markets in Africa. They catch the refugees fleeing from the uh, Ebola outbreak that happens every year, and they put them up on the slave market. It's a true story true story that is a fact that is real anyway if y'all got something y'all want to hear about and unless please God, don't put me through some shit that you ain't gonna go through yourself okay because if you do i will get on my big computer and i will make a video out of the video of the video okay and i'll make you sit through the whole damn thing with me and i'll do a response video and make you listen to it, okay? Don't make me listen to that mess, okay? Because it's stupid. Cardi B was like dumb. And, oh my God. And the DNC, I couldn't even watch all of it. I had to break it off into chunks so I could watch it. Because, <laughs> like, my stupid meter was like, oh, it's getting too dumb in here. Oh, there goes the two year old. You know? I'm like, gee. We're going to solve the economic crisis by making jobs. Okay. So are we, like, going to draw jobs? Like, you know, the word jobs. And, and, and how many how many letters is the word jobs there, Baden? Ain't it three? Ain't it three? <laughs> Y'all remember that one? Three-letter word for you. 
J O B S. Uh, four letter. Maybe five. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. Anyway, so if you got something you want to hear about, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. Like I say all the time, if you want to like my videos, please like them. If you want to share them, do as you will. If you want to subscribe, there's a ding-dong bell. The easiest way to get all of my crazy videos is by making sure you make sure that it says all notifications on every video. I'm going to try and start getting into the better part and get me like a new thing so you don't have to be looking at my blanket while I speak. I'm going to get me something for y'all to look at. Alright? And I'm... I'm just like totally impressed with all y'all. I'm really totally impressed with you guys. My liberals, my Democrats, my Republicans, my conservatives, all that listen to me. I'm impressed with you guys because you guys just keep on outshining everybody. And as always, I do not endorse violence. So if BLM tries to hold a protest in your neighborhood, call the cops, disturbance of the peace, that's nearly in every last damn city. So just call the cops on them. Let them handle it. Don't come out your doors because we all know that BLM is going to act stupid if they know they are getting attention. So just stay in your houses. Everybody call the cops. Let them know you don't want this shit in your neighborhood. Make it a one voice. But do not. Do not approach them. They are like the plague. If you, if you get near them, they're going to cry out, Oh my God, you know, poor us. So don't do it. Stay in your house, call the cops, let the cops handle it. And that's Real with Robo. Thank you to all my friends for subscribing to me, y'all. It's awesome. And that's Real with Robo.